All right, guys, so I thought I'd give a, an update on what I'm doing here. So I pulled out this stock system in this Denali. It was the stock Bose system 2001 Denali. Here's the connector that goes into the back of the head, the regular head unit that came with the uh, came with the truck. So in order to get the Bose sound, I bought this. Um, I can get it to focus there. It's the 21A, which is the one for my year. So and then I bought this uh, Pioneer. Um, I think it was called the X D E H X 6800 Bluetooth BT. <clears throat> Connected the wires from the back of that into the front end of this pack module, the interface. Um, there are a few of these connections that had two cables, like this one. It's for one of the speakers. It has a single cable coming out of the Pioneer, and then it has two cables going into the interface. And they were both like rear, back, high and low, but still positive. And then this was the negative is uh, down there somewhere. But anyway, there should have just been one, but I wasn't sure what to do with both of these wires that were both for like the right rear, high and low. So I just wired them into the same one that provided the positive for the. Um, back right. So I did that with every single speaker cable. There was two colors on this pack module and only one on a standard stereo installation. So I just put both of them that were kind of the oddballs into into just the one positive terminal on the back of the radio. And I was just listening to music and it works perfect. So I know I did it right. <clears throat> so when you when you wire in the speaker, just make sure you know that there's going to be two positives for every single two positives from this module for every single positive that you have out of the back of your deck it's not that complicated but you just gotta wire them in the right way so <clears throat> anyway so I wired everything in here it actually sounds great I was just listening to it I would put some music on but you know there are some copyright restrictions and I don't want to get into trouble this right here was from the old six, da six disc changer which I made into a shelf so I'm not even gonna plug that back in I have some other junk wires back there from a previous system and then I have the antenna adapter that will go right into there. And then I'm going to wire in a Bluetooth microphone that will go in just right. I can't reach it, but right there. So I'll do that video next. If you're wondering how to get these A pillars out, if I can block out the sun there a little bit. They just have these little clips. So it just sits like that. You just give it a tug and they come out. And then I'm going to run my microphone wire. I'm going to put my microphone up here where the old OnStar mic was. And I'm going to wire it up through the ceiling. To get off this center console, there are two clips in those holes right there. And then there is one screw right there. So if you just look under where the lights go, there's a screw. And then you just pull on those two clips. Anyway, I'm gonna run my wire up through there. Probably come out somewhere over here and then go down this pillar and then down into my dash and come up over there. So, All right, so I managed to get the microphone up through the headliner, down this pillar, and then I kind of had to pry that open a little bit and then fish it out of the fuse panel. So this is the wire right now. I'll tighten it up once we come through, but then I crawled underneath and was able to fish it up through here. And then I brought it up right down here and up around under there. And it's coming out right here. And I've got it plugged into the unit, which is just sitting right there. So all in all, it wasn't too painful. You can do it. So I got the, headline, the headliner pulled out, or the, uh, not the headliner, the console pulled out. And, you know, it sits like this, basically, um, that's where the old microphone used to sit, so it was about right there. I'll probably mount mine somewhere in here. It came with this double-sided tape, so I'll throw some of that on there and then just mount that microphone about right in there somewhere. All right, so I got everything reconnected. I threw this deck into the uh, mounting kit. I bolted it straight into it. I did not use the sleeve. Um, it's kind of tricky to get everything in there. Let me see if I can show my headlight. 
had to put that little pack unit kind of up behind the dash there in order to make room for all these cables and adapters. And then I plugged everything else into the back of the radio. And I'm going to go ahead and just slide this back in. This adapter will clip right into those stock clips on the side there. Uh, dash back on. You gotta kind of help the top. Alright, I had to put the phone down there for a second. So, basically you gotta get this bottom part of the dash in, sort of behind all that stuff, and then help the top here in, and then the whole thing just kind of and just line up that peg and the whole thing just snaps back into place <clears throat> and there we go got the bluetooth mic up there Perfect. Got the sound system down there. And I'm going to work on down here now. <laughs> 